Voters in a Toronto neighborhood head to the polls tomorrow for a by-election that will be a critical test of the Trudeau government. The federal seat came open after longtime MP Carolyn Bennett stepped down last year. But cracks in the Liberal stronghold could lead to an opposition breakthrough. Here's CTV's Judy Trin on why this race could become a referendum on the Prime Minister. A cauldron of discontent is brewing in the riding of Toronto St. Paul's. Like a lot of taxes have gone up this year, right? And at a time that everyone's kind of struggling as well. We have been one way for so long. So we are analyzing everything very, very carefully because we've been very disappointed with the government. 60% of constituents in this Ontario riding are renters. 11% are Jewish. Domestic issues are clashing with international crises. It's probably going to come down to housing affordability, homelessness, and then also the hot button issue of what's happening in the Middle East between the state of Israel and Hamas. For 31 years, voters have elected a liberal. After former MP Carolyn Bennett resigned, Leslie Church is fighting to keep the writing red. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Not an easy task when many want a new direction. Change doesn't mean throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Change doesn't mean abandoning your values. Change means let's do things better. Hi. Support for Church's conservative rival is growing. Don Stewart did not respond to multiple requests from CTV for an interview. Yeah, I'd love the message, Mr. Stewart. Requests made over emails, phone calls, and in person. Hi there, how are you? NDP's Amrit Parhar's ground game involves appealing to disillusioned constituents who think voting Liberal is the only way to stop the Tories' momentum. Is to respond with hope and not to react with fear not to fall into that I'm going to go in and vote X way because I'm so scared of the Conservatives. Complicating matters? This lengthy ballot with a record 84 registered candidates. Some don't even live in the riding. 76 of them are part of a protest movement. My name is right there. Like Glenn McDonald, they're pushing for electoral reform. In the last election, the um, the Conservatives actually got about a couple hundred thousand more votes than the Liberals, and yet the Liberals ended up with 41 more seats. How is that possible? How is that fair? Possible ballot confusion, combined with opinion polls that show record low support for the Prime Minister, is putting Justin Trudeau's leadership at stake in a local by-election. I think if the Liberals uh, have a squeaker, or even if they lose the riding, then the leader of the party, in this particular case, Justin Trudeau, would be at risk. Tomorrow, voters in Toronto St. Paul's will be heading to the polls. When they cast a ballot for a new MP, they will also be sending a message to the Prime Minister. Judy Trin, CTV News, Toronto.